Hello and welcome to my channel, my name is Anya and in this video I just want to have a bit of a play around with my Cleona stained glass shadows. So I have these three here, I have the dual multi-chrome in sandblast, the glitter multi-chrome in torch and the glitter multi-chrome in blaze and they are just gorgeous. I'm going to try and show you the shifts that they have, I'm not sure how well my camera is going to be able to do that. You can kind of see, I think. Let me zoom you in. This is Sandblast. It is just gorgeous. I want to play around with that one today. I also have the shade Torch. This is a glitter multi-chrome. I hope this is in focus. It's gorgeous. And then I have Blaze, which is also a glitter multi-chrome. This isn't showing up as nicely as it looks, I can tell. But it is gorgeous. They can kind of see a bit of that pink shift it has. It's gorgeous. I'm going to be mainly working with Sandblast and Blaze on my upper lid and brow bone. And I might put Torch on my lower lash line. I haven't fully decided what I want to do with this look. I have already got my base done, I haven't done anything to my eyebrows other than just brush them into place. If I feel my eyebrows need something, it's going to go on after the eyeshadow. I just want to have a play with these because I haven't fully used them yet. When I got these, I put them all over my eyes like the second after I had taken the pictures because I just, they were so beautiful I had to try them. And I fell in love completely and I have more of these stained glass shadows in the mail. I have, I think, another one of the dual multi-chromes as well as two more of the glitter ones. I can't wait. I, I'm so excited. These are absolutely amazing. So I'm going to zoom you in and then I'm going to have a bit of a play. I'm going to try not bob it out of frame too much. I'm going to start by priming my eyes. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. It's the original one and I'm going to put a bit of that onto my eyelids. I have on purpose not brought any foundation onto my lid. I have a bit of concealer onto my brow bone because it looks a bit out of place if I don't. But I did not want to have anything on the lid because I don't feel like I need to put concealer on my lid if I'm going to put eyeshadow over it. And I find that eyeshadow generally tends to wear better if I don't. Even though I can use concealer as a primer, I just, today I wanted to use this because I prefer an actual eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna start off with the dual multi-chrome sandblast and I'm gonna use my finger first and just pop that all over the lid. When I placed an order for these three I ended up picking colours that have similar shifts so they have pink to them, they have gold. The dual multi-chrome you can probably tell around the edges it has a blackened base which just gives so much dimension and I'm just in awe of this. I'm going to apply a little bit over my actual crease because I'm going to be blending the edge and using that dark base as my crease colour or I'm going to try to. But just look at that. This I always ends up looking a bit messier, but going to end up looking a little bit similar, hopefully, by the end. I don't know if you can see just how gorgeous and shifty it is on my finger. A colour that I rarely am able to see out of this is the green in it. It has some green, I think. I think it says it has a lime uh, tone to it and when I look at my finger right like this I can see it I can see it around the edge of my finger but I'm not sure if it's the same for the camera but it is just it is gorgeous and then I'm going to take a base shadow brush from Real Techniques I really enjoy these for blending and I'm just going to gently buff the edge 
a bit. I don't want to touch any of the colour on the lid because I do want that intensity to be there. But I do want to smoke out the edge here. It does remove some of that shiftiness, but it really adds that grungy base and it makes the black or the dark base pop. So I'm just going to do that on both eyes. I'm also watching the Youth Olympics. Um, curling is currently on. It's the gold medal match, and um, I know, I know one of the girls on the team, and it's just, it's so exciting. It's currently two two. They're playing Japan, and they're playing pretty good. I haven't been able to watch any of the other games, but I really wanted to. I just, I, I, I guess it completely escaped my brain that the Youth Olympics is probably streamed on the Olympic Channel, which is where I'm watching right now. I just, I don't know. I am not very good at following a lot of international sport that isn't on TV. I'm just, I'm just not. But I, I do watch a lot of sports. If you don't know, I used to play football and handball and I did horseback riding for many many years i think i did football for about a decade a little bit less than a decade horseback riding for i think seven years handball for about seven as well loved it a lot i really miss sport it's one of those things sports and school is the two I, things that i miss so much after getting sick it just it sucks so much that i'm not able to do the stuff that i love anymore but I still try to have fun when it comes to sport. I watch a lot of sports. I don't live too far away from where my handball team plays, the arena, which is the handball team I used to play for. I don't live very far away from that. I've been to a couple of matches I do want to go to more. And I'm kind of bummed that I didn't end up buying tickets for the men's European Championships because part of it was played in Tron time. And it would have been kind of exciting to watch. That is kind of cool. It's a bit grungy. Looks a bit messy. I can work with that. I'm going to reapply a little bit of it just around the outer corner edge. Because I can see that some of, some of the intensity uh, is not there anymore. And I very much want that to be there. Especially on this side, I can tell there's not really that much product on the outer corner there. What I have been doing, the look I've done before using these shadows was I put sandblast on the lid like I did right now. I don't think I blended the edges that time though so it looked messy. And then I took blaze which is the lightest colour. I took blaze and just plopped it onto the brow bone and you can kind of see that pinky shift this has. This is definitely over the top <laughs> because it's a gorgeous shadow. I've worn this on the lid. It is gorgeous on the lid but... I kind of just feel like adding it there today and I might put it in the inner corner as well. I'm definitely going to put it in the inner corner. It just, it's, it's, it's such a beautiful colour. I wasn't expecting Blaze to be this light. I mean it is technically a little bit too dark for me to use as a highlighter. It's a bit dark but the shift, the glittery intensity gorgeousness that this has I'm in awe and I'm in love. I'm gonna take torch and I'm gonna put this on my lower lash line. I mean it's a mismatch of colours in a way but I don't like it. I'm just going to take a clean brush just around the edge on the bottom lash line here. I don't think I want to add more of that. I like that. I am going to add a bit of blaze into the inner corner. I'm just 
going back in with sandblast and putting it a bit more sort of around the edges of where I have blended it because I put blaze kind of far down so it sort of intersects a bit but I want to make sure that the gorgeousness that is sandblast does not disappear and it's kind of interesting looking in the viewfinder this looks red this looks like a red eye when I look down here, I can see a lot more of that darkness, the almost browny greeny to the outer parts of my eye there. I'm just, I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm going to do my mascara and I'm going to put a um, nude colour on the waterline and I will be right back. So this is the finished eye look. I've gotten super, super close. So I want to show the eyeshadow. My lashes aren't cooperating all that much. But let me zoom you out so that I can finish my makeup. I'm going to go into my Wet n Wild duo for the contour side and just add a little bit of bronzer to the outer edges of my face. My face and neck doesn't match today. They almost did until I had to put on powder and the powder just ended up being too dark. But it happens. I can deal with it. I'm not going anywhere, so I'm just going to add a bit of bronzer to the outer edges of my face. For my highlighter, I'm just going to use the Makeup Mecca, the iconic one. It is one of my absolute favourites. It is not the most intense and blinding, but it just looks so gorgeous on the skin. And I tend to put highlighter on my cheekbones. I also tend to put it on my brow bone in a corner, but I have the eyeshadow there, so I'm not going to do that. A little bit on my nose and on my chin. I don't usually do the cupid's bow because I tend to line where I end up having the highlighter, so it doesn't really make sense. And then any excess, I just dust a bit into the centre of my forehead. For my lips, I have chosen a brown colour. I don't really want to go super nude or anything in other colours. This is Makeup Mecca Lip Liner on Point in number 6. And it's just a really lovely, slightly warm toned brown. And I'm just going to fill my entire lips in with this. So I have scooted myself a bit over to the side because I want to see if I can maybe show you some of the shifts a bit better inside my hand here. That is Sandblast. I think you can see just how gorgeous it is. That is Torch next to it on that side. And then blazes down on that side. And you can sort of see when I tilt my hand, you can sort of see, <laughs> it's really funny, you can kind of see the green, I think, from the jewel one. When I look at this right now, this colour, sandblast, looks green. But this torch looks like a copper and blaze looks like a gold. And you can kind of see, I think, bla torch has a copper undertone I think that's what they have on the website and then blaze is more of a I call it kind of like a honey color but this sunblast to me just looks completely green and when I tilt it up you can see how strongly that shifts into that pink red territory I just love them if you have looked at these and gone like oh my gosh they're pretty but how do they look like they have amazing pictures that show off some of that gorgeous shift that the colors have but my head wasn't able to properly visualise how that would look on the eyes or in a swatch. Check out uh, Angelica Nyquist's video, I will leave it down below, where she swatched all of the original stained glass, because I know they're coming out with some new shades for the restock. If I was not on an O-Buy, they would be mine, almost all of them, because they're, they're just so pretty. 
absolutely gorgeous. But thank you so much for watching this mega playtime video, I suppose, where I just get to have fun with eyeshadows. I will leave a link to the cleaner website down below, as well as these colours if I can. I know they took them off the website before they're going to do the relaunch. I cannot remember when the relaunch is. I think it's on the 21st, maybe the 20th. But I will leave a link to the website down below. And you can also go check out some gorgeous colours. I will also leave their Instagram because they showcase their colours beautifully on there. But thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you again soon. Bye!